Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic um, and specifically our PySpark series. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to um, generate an array from columnar data uh, using the collect list or collect set function. So let's dive into the demonstration. So as you can see, we're using the Databricks Community Edition. I'll link to a video of mine in the top right hand corner of the screen, which um, shows you how to set this up for yourself and uh, lets you access PySpark for free. So yeah, now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive into the demo. What I've done so far is basically just read a CSV file that I have in the DBFS into a data frame. I've got videos on how to do that. And I'm also displaying this data frame so you get an idea of the data. Very simple data as you can see, ID, first name, last name, email, gender, salary. And next I'm importing the two functions that we're gonna be working or showing you today or demoing you today. Um, very simple, just import it from pyspark.sql.functions, .sql import, collect list and collect set. So very straightforward. And yeah, coming to the usage of these functions, um, it's and what they do, basically if you have a column in a data frame that you want to convert into an array so that it can be used, suppose you have some traversal functions that you want to do, or you want to extract a column into an array, uh, these two functions come in handy. So you have the collect list and the collect set. And what the difference is between them is that the collect list will go through and extract every item or every row of a particular column into the array, whereas the collect set will only extract unique elements of the column into an array. So collect list gets every row and then the collect set gets unique rows into an array form. All right. So to show you guys how that works, um, we can basically uh, do them one by one. So to use the collect list, which we're going to start, we can just do a df dot select, which is to query data. And then once you've queried the data, you can just do a collect list in this situation. And then open bracket, close bracket, and then specify which column you want to perform the collect list on, and then do a dot display. So as you can see, we generate this, because this data frame is about a thousand rows, we generate this array which will also have a thousand um, items inside it. That means many there's many repeated values, right? And suppose we don't want the repeated values, we, don't, we just want the unique values, we can do the collect set. So similarly, it's the same query, we do a df.select, but the only thing is we change the collect list to collect set. as you can see, we only get the unique uh, values in this particular column. So that's how the collect list and collect set functions work. You can uh, read these, or you can uh, basically um, write these, um, equate these, or uh, read these arrays to a variable and store these arrays in a variable. So you can use them in some other uh, programming uh, uh, functionality that you need. So that's mainly what they use for. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you guys in the next one.